And again, another fucking recording because boyfriend decides to just come in and start talking to me. Anyways, again, hopefully this is the last time because if it isn't, I am not doing this freaking candy thing. <sighs> okay. So, when and why did I start making candy? I started making candy in 7th or 8th grade, 1997, 1998, because there was two sisters in my junior high that wore candy and went to raves. And it inspired me, and it was all colorful, and I loved it. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And how do I feel about just candy being called candy if you rave, if you only rave? I don't think that you should be able to just call it candy if you only rave. Um, if you understand raving and if you understand the meaning of candy, I wouldn't see why there should be a problem with people calling it candy. As long as you don't label yourself as a raver or a candy kid, and because if you don't rave, then you're a poser if you do that. And it's not right. Um, do I rave? Yes, I do rave. Come on, fuck this. Thank you. <laughs> I do rave. I've been raving for almost eight years. Um, five years in California and three years out here. My first speed colors were glow in the dark. Um, the glow white. The white glow in the dark and then yellow stars. Um, can I read candy cups? No, I cannot. Come on, fuck this. No, I cannot read it for the life of me. I've tried and just I can't. It's way too confusing. Hopefully someday I can. Because they're really cool. And real candy has freaking gone through the roof, dude. Like from going from singles to doubles. And then then from going there with cuffs and 3Ds and ladders and all this madness is really crazy of how candy has progressed. Um, where do you get your patterns? I just get them. Fuck yes. Come on. Fuck yes. I get them from here. I don't do patterns like I said, but you can go to candypatterns.com. That's where most of patterns are if you do patterns. So my biggest problem while making candy, um, I get frustrated. Um, beats start to drop, but that's mostly it. I take my time and, and stuff. Um, that's mostly the biggest problem, but mostly that I don't really have problems with making candy. Kind of string I use, um, I use the elastic string, the stretchy string. I don't like the clear string. It does not do it for me. It just, I don't like it. I like stretchy. And where I buy my supplies, anywhere but Walmart. Walmart is the devil to me. But if I absolutely have to, then I will. But I don't like to. I like to shop it. Fucking camera, dude. I hate this fucking camera. Fuck yes. Sorry. This is really fucking shitty. Fuck this, fucker. Thank you. Sorry, my camera's like really pissing me off right now. Um, but yeah, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, and um, bead stores, like local bead stores. You can try to find them there too. Um, what bead color do you think is essential? Black and white? Um, I think, I guess, the most. How often do I update my supplies? Six months to a year, maybe a couple of years. It all depends on how much candy I make and how big of the candies I make. Um, I don't have a favorite piece. I like all my pieces, even the some that I've made for myself. I love all candies, except for some. I don't like which I'll explain why in the next question. And types of candy I do not like that have ecstasy on it. Anything, any code names for ecstasy, I fucking hate. I s still to this day, sometimes I, I get them and they just go straight to the bottom of the box. And I 
There's one that has E on it and it has a smiley face. That's the only one I'll wear because it's got a smiley face on it. But other than that, I hate it and I hate dubstep. Dubstep is not music. I don't even know why they put it in the rave scene. It's retarded. Like, it's just fucking noise to my ear. Like, as soon, like am I, if I'm at a party and I'm just going through the rooms to check out the music and the people, and I go to a, into a room that has dubstep in it, I walk right in and I walk right back out and I'm like, fuck this. I hate dubstep with passion. I can deal with drum and bass, drum and bass no problem. And advice tips, be patient and be good to your candy. Save your, your treasure your candy forever and ever, even if you don't wear some of it. Like don't, like the ones that are given to you, don't trade them off. Like that's, that's not, that's not candy, that's not what we do. Like us candy kids, real candy kids, uh, we don't do that. We save our candy, even if we don't like it, or it's something that we don't like, like I was saying, with E, the happy face, yeah. Just keep it. Doesn't matter what it is, just keep it. It's memories, it's treasure. And, um, don't label yourself, that's another advice. Just be who you are, and it's okay if you like to make candy, just don't label yourself as a candy kid because if you don't rave, then you're not a candy kid. Um, and who is my candy, candy idol? I would have to say Mega Vega Donna Don. She is my candy idol. She, she's fucking candy queen of Southern California, like literally. I'll uh, try to find a picture of her and see if I can figure out how to put a picture added to this video. Um, but yeah you will be like, oh my god, dude, she is fucking candy queen, like, it's, <laughs> it's fucking epic shit, but yeah, that's all the questions to, to my candy tag one, okay, now it's a little shorter, so that's good, I got my little over there.